Okay, so we're here at the Silver Summit 2014 at the Davenport Hotel in Spokane, Washington. And I'm very, very happy and very excited to have with me Mr. Bo Palmy. We just saw his presentation, it's the seven year cycle that devastates the world. Is it really that bad? <laughs> it, you can't change what's coming. Yes. And like I showed you in the presentation, it wasn't, uh, my theories are not random. Mm -hmm. It started with going back 250 years. Mm -hmm. And then we take a number, a very simple number of 21, and we multiplied it. We, we kept multiplying it, and we're just showing what happened every time the number 21 would hit. Yeah. There would be another recession. Right. And this is the this is the theory that we're that, that you came up with in terms of the seven year, the three cycles of seven years. Right. And then which is also broken down into the cycle of the twenty one months. That's so right. So, so that. exactly. So like the number twenty one I'm speaking about, you can take that number and break it down, divide it by three. It's all multiplication and division. Okay, and so it's all a factor of the number seven, but it doesn't have to happen on the seven. So you take 21, 21 years, going, going back to the 250 years, and from that point, you just go 21 years. But you take 21 divided by three, you got seven. But every 21 years, you end up having an economic crisis. Okay, and I illustrated that, and you can go to why I got actually that off Wikipedia. Right. I didn't make this up. It's just. <laughs> I found it, and so I take pieces and I put them all together, and then I apply math to it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so when you do that, what ends up happening is you get to the year uh, of the last uh, crash, I think it was 1974, right. when I had this little number 11, and then you go 21 years forward, and then, so what that's pointing to is another cycle low um, in the year 2016. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And, 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 and again, it's not that it doesn't happen, it has to happen, but unfortunately, the cycle hasn't broken for 250 years, and this is the 12th cycle of 21. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in your presentation, you, you mentioned about you know the worldwide 2016 stock market crash, and um, you know, and the derivative bubble. So, can you just expand on that? Well, you have to understand that the, the cycles say it's coming, mm -hmm. but all it's missing is the events. Right. So, there will be events that will create it, right. and I am not a specialist in, in, in finance and so I don't look at any of that. I just look at the cycle. Mm -hmm. And then there's people that were here doing presentations today and yesterday, you know, geniuses, very smart men, and they were explaining the, uh, you know what could happen. And you know what kept coming up was the derivative issue. Mm -hmm. and that was mentioned quite a few times. Mm -hmm. And and now and you also uh, call the the gold bottom, which was, uh, you know, you, uh, the price hit 1181, but you had it just slightly below that, correct? Well, the, the, what has to happen in a long-term bull market, you have one specific thing, you have higher lows. Okay, and so we have a bull market in gold. Mm -hmm. What's a bull market? Higher lows and higher highs. Well, we know we have higher highs or highs. Right. You can yeah. go back the past 40 years and you see, like, the last high was 1900. But then you have, you have to support the higher low factors or you break a long-term trend. So when gold um, on October 3rd dropped to 1191, and then a few days, and then into that weekend, everybody's like sweating and like, oh, I'm getting those emails from everybody, subscribers, and, and some very, you know, renowned people that people right. know, you know that I communicate with. Um, you know, they're saying, what do you think's going to happen, Bill? And I said to every one of them, relax. 1181 will not break. Right. And what price did it hit? Long-term bull maintained, mm -hmm. and since then, gold's up. So long-term bull, bull maintained. So what does that say for next year? You mentioned your projections of next well, year that it will exceed forty-eight dollars for silver, uh, two thousand dollars for gold. Um, can you just expand on that? Well, what has to happen is you have to have price catching up to time. I did an right. interview in May, and I specifically said in that interview we're going to have a high going up into early summer, uh, saying May to June. It took into, what, the 10th day of July, so 10 days extra, mm -hmm. big deal. And then it was supposed to drop into late summer. Well, summer actually ended, I think, the first week of October. Mm -hmm. And like four or five days later, we, you know, boom, the uh, right. bottom came in. And um, then my last projection from, from the May interview in New York was that gold was to continue to rise and have a very aggressive move into year end this year yet. Now, will it happen this year? Again, my cycle work doesn't give price, like I said in the right. interview. 
So could it take into the next cycle high, which will be into next year? Maybe, but it won't be beyond that. It will not be beyond 20, uh, uh, June of right, 2015. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it won't go beyond that because that's a cycle high. Mm -hmm. but, it, but again, it doesn't have to be in June, it can be before that. And that's what, you know, the specifics and the days and the weeks of when that will, event will occur, that's what I give my subscribers. Right. So what are you telling your clients right now, or, or people in general? Well, right now, to have a repair right now is that the, the trade, I'm looking at the silver to gold ratio, you have a silver to gold ratio of 71.5, I believe, gold to silver. So the trade is silver. Once silver aggressively moves up, and it, it will exceed the movement of gold, and it will lower the gold to silver ratio. When that event occurs, it will actually be very important to change your position from silver to gold. Because in an economic correction, drop, crack, whatever you want to call it, silver has one foot in the equity markets, okay? And it will drop with the equities, whereas gold is, is supported and is actually an opposite bet, hedge, against a deflationary crash. Right. So gold will rise in a deflationary environment. So the trade is silver, swap, gold. Okay, excellent. Well, you know what, if you want to find out more, from Bo himself, you can get to his website, and that would be? Uh, it's gold2020forecast.com, and um, I've got a few videos, well, actually one video, a couple updates on there, and I just try to keep people apprised of things, the specifics, the days I try to give to, you know, keep as close to my subscribers. Excellent. Well, you know, thanks a lot, Bo, for coming on here and uh, providing us some insight. Very interesting. Visit his website. Thank you.